is going on guys, it's Malika here, and as always I hope you all have yourselves an awesome day, and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys the quickest way to get your characters, DLC characters, to level 100 in Jump Force. Now I know this is kind of a bit of a different video, but I've been grinding the heck out of Jump Force for the past couple months, and I decided, you know what, maybe there are people out there who want to know the quickest way to get to level 100. And tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading a Fortnite video, so be sure to be um, prepared for that. But, as you can see, I'm here with my main character here, my boy, and everything. But, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in here, go to free missions. And now, this is for if you guys are already level 100, but I guess I'll show you guys something to grind if you guys aren't level 100. Now, you guys can do, uh, level training 3, which is 10,950, uh, experience points per match that you play and beat. Level training 3 is the highest amount of experience you can get in hard, so... Um, obviously if you have very hard, you probably do level training 2, which gives you 15,000 experience and all that good stuff, but this is for if you're not level 100 already. So let's say you're level 100 and you're trying to grind your DLC characters or any new characters that you got because they're level 1 and you're just like, what the heck? Um, so you're gonna want to go to Expert and then you want to go to Define Limits 14. Now what you're gonna see here is that you get 85,000 experience and 24,000 gold. And I'm gonna go ahead and play a match for you guys, and then I'll leave a timestamp on the video so you guys can skip straight to the end of the match. If you guys aren't interested in watching the match, of course. But I'm gonna be showing you guys the DLC characters that I am gonna be working on, and what a little bit of a grind can do. I mean, a little bit of a grind is kind of an understatement because this is... I'll show you guys about 6-7 hours of in-game work. Because I obviously take breaks and whatnot. So, I got Kane to level 99, as you can see I got Bakugo and All Might to level 100, and obviously my other characters kind of got half the XP and all that good stuff from me leveling them two up. So I'm actually, uh, Kane should get to level 100 if I don't use him in this match, maybe, I'm pretty sure. So he's my main character so that I don't have to switch off too often. But these are the two that I have been upgrading, which is Biscuit and, oh, um, Biscuit and Majin. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, yep, do this match out. So, I'll see you guys once the match starts. Alright guys, so I switched it up a little bit because I just realized that my main character doesn't have, like, any good combos with this set of team. So, yeah, because I usually only use Biscuit, because Biscuit is, like, really good combo-wise and stuff. I always make sure Majin is my third slot because obviously there's a <laughs> good little trick that I like doing with him. Go ahead and activate 10 code. I forgot what it does, but I know it's, um, boosts offense or defense, I can't really, or ability power, I can't really remember, but... Oh, I didn't hit my button. Okay, well, you just hit it. Come at me, Naruto. Come on, I do. Yeah, that's what I thought. Boom, get out of here, Goku. He's gonna try and hit me with the spirit bomb in a second. Yep. You guys shouldn't have too much trouble with these guys, because they're pretty easy. I mean, if your characters are pretty low level, I recommend using at least one level 100 character because it would probably be a bit difficult because they don't really do that much damage if they're level But yeah, once they're high enough level at least, you should be able to hold your own pretty decently. Luffy, I am sorry buddy, but you are not going to be doing anything to me. Not today. Come on, I know you're gonna charge me with your fire hand thingy. Hold on. Yep, I knew it. Alright, and... Boom, gotcha. Yo, you guys are so predictable. See? There's also another good reason why this is really good XP. Obviously, you get 85,000 XP per match you play and win. But it's also super easy to win because these guys are really predictable. And, yeah. That way. Okay, time on it. Yep, you ain't getting away, buddy. Sorry. But it looks like this is going to be this round. 
Yep. All right. Good job. All right. He's gonna probably try to get away from me and hit me with the gear four. Or not. Usually, usually tries to hit me with it off the start. I'm trying to get him to use his ability because I don't want to have to worry about a combo hit or anything like that. Okay, yep, that's what I was afraid of. Naruto always uses his ability. The millisecond he touches his little tippy toe touches the road, he always tries to use his ability if he has it. Which is what's kind of annoying about Naruto. But you know what? It's fine. I should be able to block this. Yep. Too easy to block my guy. Go ahead, go Tenko. Come on, Majin. Keep your vaporize ready. Thank you. I should be able to. Oh crap. Just dodge it. Hate the stupid. He always uses instant transmission with that thing when he's in Super Saiyan form, and it's really annoying, but it's pretty easy to combat, I suppose. Come on! Go down, thank you. Okay, well, I didn't plan on that. I thought I had my ability ready, but I guess not. Thank you. Oh, what? Did that happened earlier. I'm so confused. Well, I guess he was in the air, so I was out of range, but still, that's just kind of messed up. Well, like that. Tell me how many hearts? Yep. Good job, bro. I don't want to have to use my ultimate ability until I am fully maxed out on my bar. So I don't want to wake until I'm fully. Able to pull you away, which I'm pretty close to being able to do. You try it, you try it. Come on. Come on, Goku. You ain't hitting nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. You got it in you to hit that super spirit bomb. Alright, just gonna wait for you to get down here, and then I'm gonna hit you with a good old. Boop. Keep the ground, bro. How can? Nope. No power can for you. Oh damn, I didn't fully do that. Oh shit. I thought I was closer. There we go. Plus my ability is stronger and my health is below 60% I think, so I'll just go ahead and do this. And when they're high level like this, you probably already know this if you guys are high level, but... Whenever you awaken and you knock them back, they don't just knock out for a while, like, when they're low level. They should get them close to dead, if not dead, but they should leave them with a little, tiny, little, tiny bit of health. Yeah. A little tiny bit of health. And he's probably gonna try to use his gear for it. Or not. Usually only uses it when he's farther away. Um, which is fine enough. I want to hit Naruto with a fire bomb. Oh crap, that's not good. Yeah, he's gonna hit me with this. But I'm gonna. Looks like I might win by timeout because he's definitely gonna hit me with this. Yep. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm gonna win by countout, but that's fine. I'll say him before. Yes. Three seconds left, and I finished him. Let's go. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You still get the XP. Even if the time runs off, but I just want to finish it. Alright, whatever, Kane. And as you guys can see, you get your 85,000 XP. Kane is now level 100. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking excited about that. One more character down, there's still three characters to go. Crap. Well anyways guys, this is how you can quickly get your characters to level 100 in Jump Force. And if you guys did like the commentary, be sure to leave a like down below. And if this did help you, leave a like down below. And be sure to subscribe if you guys do want to see more videos by me. And it will definitely help the channel out. I'm on the road to 9k. Definitely feel free to help me out. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.